Hi students, this is Sivakumar, 12th Standard Business Mathematics and Statistics, Chapter Number 3, Continuation of Exercise 3.2, now problem number 11. You are given the marginal revenue, that is 9 minus 4x squared. You are asked to find the demand function, okay. MR is given, MR that is equal to 9 minus 4x squared. MR and DR by DX are same that is equal to 9 minus 4x square which implies DR that is equal to 9 minus 4x square into DX just cross multiply once the variables are separated that integrate on both sides integral DR equals integral 9 minus 4x square into DX integral DR equals R 9 constant integral dx is x 4 constant x square integration you know very well Inter uh, 2 plus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 formula x power n dx equals x power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 integration is over you have to introduce the constant k so or that is equal to 9x minus 4x cube divided by 3 plus k let it be number 1 or and the order of x are same only because all revenue in terms of x first you have to find out the value of k for finding the value of k no condition is given in that case you have to consider x equal to 0 or of x equal to 0 when x equal to 0 or of x equal to 0 substitute in equation number 1 Therefore, equation 1 implies R of x equal to 0, 9 into 0 minus 4 into 0 cube divided by 3 plus k. 0 equals 9 into 0, 0, 0 power anything 0 into anything 0 together 0 plus k. Therefore, k is equal to 0. Therefore, equation number 1 implies or of x that is equal to 9x minus 4x cube by 3 plus k what is value of k 0 k that is equal to 0 we got the revenue but you are asked to find out the demand function demand function generally we write the demand function p that is equal to r by x R by X that is the average revenue and the demand function same formula only equals or here it is 9x minus 4x cube by 3 9x minus 4x cube divided by 3 whole divided by X or and R of X are same just divide 9x by X minus 4x cube by 3 divided by X x cancelled here one x get cancelled so what is the answer 9 minus 4 x squared by 3 that is the demand function demand function p in terms of x that is a demand function remember problem number 11 is over i'll be teaching the next problem in the next video thank you children